no annual licence fees and other reforms. These could happen as part of possible changes to amateur radio licensing arrangements in Australia. There are three main types of radio frequency licensing. Spectrum licensing, apparatus licensing and class licensing. I won't say anything about spectrum licensing. But for amateurs, the one that we are under is currently called apparatus licensing. There's two main categories of that, either assigned using an allocated frequency, like a lot of commercial users and amateur beacons and repeaters, and non-assigned, where you share frequencies with others. That non-assigned arrangement is what governs us as individual amateurs. Then there's class licences. They apply to varied radio users that share frequencies. For example, CB radio, small transmitters like cordless phones, garage door openers and the like, maritime ship stations and amateurs visiting Australia. Note that the last two require operator qualifications. Hence, class licences could potentially be quite flexible. Bear that thought in mind for later. Legislation tends to be more prescriptive for apparatus than class licensing. You probably can't read it, but when you have a look on the screen, you can see that the conditions for a apparatus license, there's quite a few, and that's just the general conditions. Whereas class license conditions simply say, ACMA may include in a class license such conditions as it sees fit. So it could be almost anything. Another example is client information. With apparatus licences, it's quite prescriptive. Whereas with the class licence, it's much simpler. Again, pretty much what ACMA thinks necessary. Anyway, all these changes that are proposed are about moving some non-assigned licensees, like amateurs, from an apparatus to a class license system. That's been talked about as a possibility for at least 20 years, but now it looks like it's going to happen, at least if this proposal gets up. A class license lets you operate common radio equipment on shared frequencies. You don't need to apply for a class license or pay any fees. Does that mean it's a free for all? I'll answer that question later. ACMA is consulting first on three options. Option A being to leave things as they are with amateurs under the apparatus licensing system. Option B, pretty similar except to simplify amateur arrangements and conditions by changing the LCD. And option C, to move to a class licensing arrangement for non-assigned amateurs. Assigned amateur stations like repeaters and beacons would however continue to be under apparatus licensing, but with possibly some different arrangements. All this is being driven by ACMA's deregulation agenda. They consider that amateurs currently have complex regulations and compliance costs that are of no benefit either to us or ACMA. Also, there's an interesting paragraph here. We understand that amateur station users derive a benefit from accessing the spectrum to participate in the activity, albeit one that is difficult to quantify. We have for many years successfully facilitated amateur use of the spectrum by enabling amateur use of a wide variety of spectrum bands, issuing amateur licenses and overseeing the qualification framework. I'll leave you to interpret that. But anyway, they're all about removing unnecessary restrictions and reducing costs while keeping our access to the spectrum. Option A is no change. Option B is keeping apparatus licensing and simplifying a few things. Pretty much minor change. There are certain things like amateur operating procedure that would be removed from the LCD 
These are non-mandatory things and they are suggesting that the amateur community could help with the development and management of those. But qualification and call sign arrangements could remain the same and very few other changes. Option C is the big change option. That's where we are moving across to class licensing for individual amateurs. So with that, there will be a class license document that will authorise amateur operating by foundation, standard, advanced, as well as overseas amateurs visiting Australia. The amateur con conditions will be a lot simpler and there will also be an amateur operating procedures document which is non-mandatory. Call signs will be managed by a third party provider. And another thing, this is the big thing, amateur operators authorised under the class licence will no longer be required to apply for apparatus licences and therefore will not pay the charges and taxes associated with issue or renewal of amateur licences. So that's our fee-free amateur licence. That option is only available under option C, which is the class licence option. A key concern many amateurs will have is protection of interference or protection from interference. And I'll read this out fully as I think it's important. Amateur stations authorised under the proposed class licensing arrangements would allow amateur users to operate on a no interference, no protection basis that is typical of class license arrangements. This means that a person is authorised to operate an amateur station under the class licence on the condition that it does not cause interference to other devices and services and will generally not be afforded any protection should it experience interference. Now that's really, really important. And then it later goes on to say, non-assigned amateur licensees currently operate on shared frequencies and are similarly afforded no protection from interference. Our view is that in transitioning to class licensing, managing the risk of interference will remain largely unchanged from the current arrangements. That is something that people might wish to debate and comment on. Under the proposed class license, our preference is for the current arrangements to be continued where a third party will conduct examinations and issue certificates of proficiency. So no change there. Um, just looking further in this, they are not proposing to amend the operating privileges for each level of qualification. So no change here either. But a key difference is that under the proposed class licensing arrangements, amateurs will no longer need to apply to ACMA before operating an amateur station. So they may operate at the appropriate level as soon as they get their qualification. And they talk about a qualification from ACMA or an outsourced provider of such qualification services, which may include the AMC, subject to conditions in the class license. So some interesting wording there. ACMA will continue to retain oversight of the syllabus for amateur qualifications. So... No change there, and no changes to our standards that apply. As far as non-compliance with the class licence, then ACMA may still investigate and take appropriate enforcement action. This is not quite within the class licence recommendation, as these are still apparatus licences and will continue to do so, but there's a note about coordination arrangements for beacons and repeater licences. There's interest in the amateur community about people that would be able to coordinate that just for amateur beacons and repeaters. So ACMA is seeking some comment on how you might accredit people to do that. That could potentially make things a bit simpler and smoother for those wishing to put up amateur beacons and repeaters. So where to from here? It's not a done deal, currently under consultation 
amateurs and various bodies have a chance to put in a submission. I expect that amateur opinions will vary. Some won't like the concept of class licensing or removing the paying customer. Um, others will love the idea of a fee-free license. I'll include a link to the ACMA information so you can read a bit more about it. I recommend that you do. And if you feel strongly about it, put in a submission. In the meantime, if you want reading, or even if you don't, every VK ham needs this book, the Australian Ham Radio Handbook. Either pop into JCAR and buy a paperback, or order from their website online. Alternatively, if you want an ebook, you can visit my website, vk3ye.com, and order off Amazon. That's the Australian Ham Radio Handbook. Every VK ham needs it.